All right, so for our first hook, what we need to, we're gonna do is gonna be something called use input. Now I've done this hook before on the uh, YouTube, but still I'm gonna make it, maybe it will be better this time. But yes, so we're gonna do use input. This will basically just um, update an input. And I think that it's, it's very worthwhile checking out the difference between um, the hooks we're gonna make and what we had to do in the other other time. Whoa. So I think at the end of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna finish using input and then we like try to code the same thing, but how would it be on a React class? So you see the differences between between like the hooks and, um, and the classes uh, with this hook, okay? So let's delete everything here. Just leave the hello, just to know, so we know that it works. All right. Now, bye bye. Use state, and let's talk with use input. So, use input is going to take one uh, initial value. All right. And what we're gonna do here is just we're gonna say const that will be value. Maybe I make it bigger. Perfect, and then set value. And we're gonna work with use state, use state, and initial value from the hooks. Okay, cool. So now, for example, let's try to start using this bad boy here. Now, what I'm going to do is let's make an input here called um, I don't know placeholder. Let's call this name. Okay, and it should work. Yep, it says name, no problem. And here, let's just do name, and we wanna use input. So by default, I want my name to say Mr., right? And the people will complete it. So here we go, and we start with the um, the hook. So by default, any before we do any kind of like changes and whatever, I want to return um, a value like this, all right? So that means that I can do here, I can do value, and that will be name that value, okay? Because use input is returning a value, so now name equals value, and I can say name that value, and now as you can see here, I have Mr., okay? Also, I could just do this. Name. And that just takes the, the task of unpacking everything and saying name equals value that name, right? Same thing, it's just a shortcut, okay? So as you can see now, it's working. I mean, no, it's, it's not working, but the initial state is working. Initial value is working. I'm saying that by default, use input will have Mr. And as you can see here, initial value, initial value, and we're good to go, All right? Cool, now let's make a function real quick here. And this function will be named onChange. As you know, all the onChange functions have an event. And all I wanna do is just console log the event target. All right, now this, this is not gonna do anything. If I open my console here and I change this thing, as you can see, it's not gonna move. I'm, I'm typing, I promise you. Right, so what I'm gonna do is return value and onChange. Like I said, this is just like doing value equals name that value and on change equals name that on change. But as you can see, it's long as hell and we're not gonna do long as hell things. So all we have to do is just unpack them all inside like that, okay? So now here we're good. And now if I try to type, I'm console logging the event. So as you can see, this is very, um, revolutionary for React because we are handling events in a different function. It's not a React component, it's a complete different function. This is a complete different function and we are hooking our um, event handling into a, another thing, a separate file, a different entity. 